Volkswagen just unveiled the US spec ID Buzz, and this is the long wheelbase version of their fully electric, very retro inspired design. So what we're going to do in this video, I'm going to let you know what I think about this design, specifically the, the, the long wheelbase one that we have here for the US and my overall thoughts on this type of concept from Volkswagen. First of all, before we jump into the design, let's have a look at some of the spec and tech here from this article from Auto Week. I'm going to link this down in the description if you want to go and check the full story out. So with a 91 kilowatt hour battery and your choice of rear wheel drive or all wheel drive the estimate for an epa range was only 260 miles we're gonna definitely talk more about that uh, later in the video you will and you also will have to wait another year and a half so it was unveiled just a couple of days ago but you're not going to be able to take delivery uh, before the end of 2024 so there's still a long wait for this if this is something that you want there is no official pricing uh no official official word on pricing yet but they say here that you can expect maybe a land around 60 to 65 thousand dollars for the base price for this hippie van or at least it used to be a hippie van not so much right now with with this pricing it'll come down into a drivetrain configuration as we talked about the rear and all-wheel drive both will get the power from the same 91 kilowatt hour battery the rear wheel drive version gets a 282 horsepower and 406 pound feet of torque single motor on the rear axle the all-wheel drive will get two motors, obviously, and have 330 horsepower. And considering the size of this thing and the road trip vibe that uh, this uh, has, I would definitely go for the all-wheel drive here to get more power and also all-wheel drive for the bus. And if you want to see all the dimensions, just click the link in the description to get to this article. And the interior is, of course, highly modular. So between the two front captain's chairs is the center console that you can easily take away if you want to store something else in, in that area the middle row uh, seats can also be two captain chairs so you can make them into the whole second row into a bench seat that folds flat so the interior has some pretty cool uh, features to it and looking at the infotainment here in the screens I do like the design of these seats by the way this looks like the third row seats and they look very funky and pretty comfortable for third row uh, seats so for the interior here you get a 5.3 inch screen above the steering wheel with the essentials the, the speedometer and so on and you also have a 12.9 in infotainment screen uh, we're gonna talk about the the what I think about these um, uh, integrations right now when we jump into Photoshop so let's see what's going on here with this design because I think this is an absolutely fantastic design by Volkswagen because you instantly know what this is based on and that is of course the original uh, bus from uh, from Volkswagen I love the front end graphics here as well it has not really a aggressive style to it and I do think it would be interesting to see this with some round headlights instead of having these uh, ID4 headlights that we have here I think round would make the front end first of all feel a little bit more friendly and also have you know a better connection to the original but we still have the light bar in intact here in the center with a big this looks a little bit oversized just like it should the Volkswagen logo up front I also like the the blacked out a pillars that we have here it looks very cool this design it feels super fresh to have a design like this and I also like the two-tone moving further down here in the front end we have this interesting pattern in the lower section with the radar situated right here in the middle and you have again I'm gonna assume that these are functional air ducts in the side where the air goes in and then comes out right here right in front of the front axle so overall the front end of this design I think it looks really cool and it feels like uh, the designers of Volkswagen had a lot of fun designing this thing however there are a couple changes that I would probably do to this design uh, more of that when we looked at three quarter rear view so here is the side view and just have a look at this super sharp shoulder line which is also sort of a flashback to the original bus and you can see the longer wheelbase here I still think these proportions suit the the bus with a longer wheelbase it doesn't look uh, too stretched out yes it, it is a long vehicle just have a look at the size or the length of this door here for example and up top we have this blacked out uh, greenhouse graphics I love these details that brings back to the 60s to have these uh, vents I'm not sure if these are 
function. It doesn't look like it, but it's just for styling purposes. But this is what I want to see. Some some uh, some features that are just there for the sake of adding some um, decoration to a design. Not everything needs to have a proper function to it specifically not when we're ha when we're designing a car like this that is supposed to have a lot of connection to uh, a previous model a historic model i also like the the sharpness of the tail lights in a side view looking pretty good we do have some sort of a um, roof spoiler up top that sends this design off and creates a sharp end point for the top part i like that as well and these windows feel very interesting with this shape that it has this is a sliding window that you have here in in the side view Adding some more uniqueness to the overall design of this uh, vehicle. The wheels here, these are 20 inch. I do like the design of these wheels. Usually I'm not a fan of EV wheels when they kind of look flat and just cover up everything. You can't see the brake discs or the calipers, for example. But in this case, I think uh, this actually looks really good and suits this um, bus overall. Now, I wanted to throw in, this is not the US version. This is the, the global or the European version with a shorter wheelbase down here and ju just have some comparison between these two and if I were to pick the dimensions that I prefer I'm gonna have to go with the European version here with a shorter uh, rear door which feels like it's almost exactly the same length as the front door I just feel like these proportions of the shorter wheelbase they look a little more tight and more natural than the long wheelbase but as I said this vehicle it fits to have I think both the long and the shorter but if I had to pick one I'm gonna go with the European shorter version down here so here is the three-quarter rear view and this is where it gets a little interesting for me because I think this rear end looks maybe a little too sharp this corner here i want to have more of a curvature in this corner going around here and add some more bubbliness to this design if there's one ev that is supposed to be bubbly in the design uh that i'm not going to complain about it would be this uh, buzz because of the uh, connection to the original 60s buzz that was very bubbly and round in the corners so this feels more like um you know typical traditional rear end of a minibus well the front end really they they took it out here with the graphics and everything and made it just really nice uh, connection to the original ones I think that's lacking a little bit in the rear end but other than that I love the colors here with the white and this turquoise California style uh, graphics that we have on the buzz so looking at the interior here before I give my final thoughts on this overall concept I think this interior looks pretty decent I was I just drove an ID4 yesterday and this feels very similar to that with the uh, with the gauge cluster here and also the info infotainment screen they said they worked a lot on this infotainment screen to make it more uh, natural to use but it looks like we do have a bar down here I hope this is static and always here for the climate controls uh, since we don't have any climate control buttons or anything like that physical stuff for it down here so just keep that static at the bottom and always have that visible so it's easy to reach better than having to go into the software the best would be to have some tactile features for the climate but i guess that is uh, going away in a lot of different manufacturers these days the vents look pretty decent down here with a nice rounded housing for them that suits the overall design of this car you have two usb-c ports right here it looks like and we have a nice big glove box on the side with some storage compartment up top i do like the color scheme that we have going on in inside here and it looks like a very comfortable and fun vehicle to drive i don't know why but with this captain's chairs you have your armrest here you can just chill out a little bit and just drive your id bus down to the beach or wherever you want to go so overall my thoughts on the id bus the only you know thing that i wish that volkswagen would offer would be a hybrid version of this because 250 miles in a vehicle that is uh, uh, you know it, it's supposed to be the road trip vehicle you don't want to stop every i don't know to 200 miles to charge yes you can do a dc fast charger and get it up from 10 to 80 percent in 25 minutes but then 10 to 80 percent that means that 30 percent is already gone from that 250 so you're gonna have to stop every 180 miles for 25 minutes to charge 
in a vehicle like this, which has everything else going for it, the design, the interior space, and the storage uh, capabilities inside of this, it is a proper road trip vehicle. The only thing that's lacking here is a hybrid version. Just put the small little four cylinder in there to get the range up to maybe 500 miles or something like that. Doesn't have to be a big V6 or anything crazy, but just to help out that range uh, situation that we have in the ID buds. But overall, I'm not sure how people are gonna use this, if they're actually going to use it for road trips uh, or, or whatever they're going to do with it. But regardless, I really look forward to seeing these in real life and definitely seeing them rolling around on the streets because I think they are almost like uh, pieces of art rolling around. Colorful, fun, funky pieces of art. However, I'm going to have to wait a year and a half before I actually get to see one out on the street.